Hey guys, um, if you're anything like me, you probably got a little bit excited when you realized you could do conversions between decimal, hexadecimal, and binary on your Mac with the built-in calculator, but then you were probably a little bit disappointed when you tried to do negative values or uh, sign integers and found out that it doesn't seem like it's taking um, the negative values from you. Um, for example, when I punch in negative 58 here, I see... Um, this this it just shows a positive 58 um, and the binary stuff doesn't match up and then when I would hit the equal sign I would see this crazy number and I'm like okay well for some reason this isn't working um, but after you look at it a little bit longer you realize uh, that actually this is the right the right uh, negative binary version of that you see 1100 0110 that matches up with what we're looking for here um, if we click over to hexadecimal you can see uh, FFC6 and I think what makes it confusing is we have all these uh, leading numbers in front of it so what you can do to get rid of those is actually hit the AND sign and then um, however many times you click F is going to show 4-bit uh, increments so say we're mostly going to be working with 16 bits we do 4, 8, 12, 16 and then hit equals again and then you can see we have FFC6, which is what we're looking for, and then the same binary code. Um, so that we got to from just being in the decimal, and then we just literally typed in negative, what we were looking for, and then hitting equals. Um, and so the weird thing is just that it shows this other number up here, but if, if you want to do it another way, you can type in 58, and then you can just hit the two's complement, and so that's the same thing essentially as um, pushing the negative sign, the number, and then hitting equals, and um, you get you get the same thing again. Click and, however many bits you want to show, equals, and then it'll pop up down there. Um, one of the problems I ran into, and there might be another way to do this, I'm not sure, but uh, the way I found it to be easiest is if you want to work the other direction with that. Say we're trying to take this long uh, binary code over here and turn it into decimal well if we type in all these ones like that and um, we see that it matches up so the F514 matches up with what we were looking for in hexadecimal but then we want to view the decimal value of that you would think you could just click 10 but when you click 10, you get this 62740. Um, and even from there, you, you don't want to hit 2's complement because that's not the value you're looking for. So the way to get the correct value from that is to hit 1's complement first and then plug in your numbers. So we have a 101, a couple here. Again, I'm plugging in the binary equivalent of 2796. Alright, so now when we hit 2's complement, we get our 2796. Um, it's not going to show the negative sign, that's just something you're going to have to know. Um, there might be a better way to do this, I don't know, but uh, I was pretty happy when I realized that the 2's complement thing worked and I could at least um, do these conversions this way instead of having to do them by hand. Uh, if you know a better way to do it, um, please leave me a comment and um, or, or make a video and post a link to it. I'd, I'd love to see if there's another way to do this. Thanks.